After spending time with Lynn, the shepherdess, there were several things that I think would be helpful to church leaders. Those who read Scouting the Divine will find that many of these lessons are subtle but powerful. They emerge simply by spending time with someone taking care of their flock. But two specific ones come to mind. The first was Lynn's story of becoming a shepherd. Nearly 20 years ago, she purchased her first three sheep sight unseen. All of them were pregnant, and she had no idea what to do, but she figured it out. Over the years, the flock grew and she developed new skills. At one point, Lynn said to me, Margaret, it's interesting because as a shepherd, a bunch of years go by and you end up being a 65-year-old and having a lot of young shepherds calling and asking, what do I do? And you wake up one morning and you realize that you're a shepherd of shepherds. When she said those words, I recognize the parallel between shepherding and taking on a leadership role in a church. Whether you're a pastor, an administrator, a small group leader, a Bible study teacher, or a volunteer, on some level, you learn by jumping in and doing what needs to be done. Formal training is great for learning theology and basic leadership skills, but some things you just have to learn by doing. And I think that's encouraging for anyone who is embracing innovative and out-of-the-box ideas in order to share their faith and help people grow closer to God. The second thing that I learned that Lynn shared that really stuck with me was the idea of how a shepherd leads. It's interesting to note that whenever a sheep is pushed, they'll respond with fear or anxiety. But when a shepherd goes ahead of them and calls the sheep by name, they follow the shepherd peacefully. They trust the shepherd. They want to follow. Lynn noted that anyone can lead by agitating, but leading in a way that those behind you want to follow is really an art form. And I think there's a lot of truth in that for leaders of people as well.